Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Language and Life Skills and Matthew Dikanil. Today I will regale you with a few jokes. Let's call it Laugh Away Your Blues. So you can relax listening to these uh, stories of humor. The first one is about a farmer and his two sons. The farmer was going to the market to sell his produce. He went with the jeep, taking all the farm products, and then he called two sons and told them, both of them, that they should work in his vineyard. When he comes back, we'll ask them an account of the work they had done. So he went to the market, and when he came back, he asked them about the work. He called the first one and asked him, what did you do? He said, I was watching baseball game. <laughs> then he called the second one. And he asked him, what did you do? Oh, not knowing what the first one had said. He said, I was helping my brother. So he's helping his brother to see the baseball game. That's it. Second one is about old age and memory. You know, people who give talks about old age, they say one of the very difficult things about old age is loss of memory. And he was saying that... Uh, Old people forget to three, three, three things, tend to forget three things. First one is they forget names. Second, they forget the names of people, even some of their friends. And the third one, he said, I forgot. Yeah, he's speaking about loss of memory for old people, so the third one he forgot. And that's natural. Now we come to one joke about Bernard Shaw and a socialite. Bernard Shaw, the famous uh, American dramatist and intellectual, he met a socialite at a dinner and uh, it was the first time they were meeting. This socialite, uh, knowing about Bernard Shaw's reputation, made a proposal to him. So we should marry each other. See, we love great children. They will be as beautiful as I am and as intelligent as you are. Shaw thought for a moment and said, Madam, perhaps better not. Suppose it turns out the opposite. They are as intellectual as you are and as handsome as I am. You know, he was not a handsome man at all. Next is from the world of science. There was a student, a seven standard student, a girl, attending school and uh, in a science class the teacher explained the theory of evolution and the teacher said humans have evolved from monkeys when she went home she asked her mother mother who are our ancestors is it true that monkeys are our ancestors mother was a devout catholic woman she said we have descended from the great parents adam and eve we are all children of adam and eve then she went to her father, who was a scientist, and asked the same question. And the father explained the theory of evolution, how man had slowly evolved from monkey to man. When the child got confused, she went once more to the mother and asked her, Mother, please tell me the truth. Father is saying we are descended from monkeys. You say we are come from Adam and Eve. What is the truth? And the mother said, Darling, there's no problem at all. I spoke about my ancestors and he spoke about his ancestors. That's all. No problem. And now if we have one from the good Pope John Paul, John the 23rd. He was a very affable man. A journalist once asked him about the employees in the Vatican. He wanted to know how many people are working in the Vatican. So he asked the Pope. How many people work in the Vatican? The Pope said, about half of them. <laughs> he was having a general dig at the leisurely way of work in the Vatican. And we have one from the scientist Einstein, a famous scientist, famous for giving his talks. He was giving a talk in a very some distant place, unfamiliar place. And then in the evening he went for a walk. And then he forgot the name of the hotel where he was staying, how to go back to the hotel. So he called up the organizers and asked them, where is Dr. Einstein staying, in which hotel? 
and they gave him the name of the hotel and we went back there uh, and he solved his problem that way and the last one is about an engineer and his young wife engineer had serious uh, building proposals project proposals uh, working on them one of them was to build a dam and a bridge and uh, young wife was fond of you know going out in the evening engineer was always busy with his work so he never agreed to go out with her one day she got very angry and she cursed him and he said dam your river and hang your bridge oh thank you very much she embraced, he embraced his wife and said you have given me a beautiful idea so i must build a dam across the river and build a hanging bridge how wonderful come let's go out for dinner and that way the problem was solved dear friends these are a few jokes i have uh, gathered from here and there and i hope you enjoyed them let's learn to laugh away our blues if you enjoyed this video please subscribe bye see you another time